Hi everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How mm. are you? Oh my God, I'm Good sorry evening. about the time, but it didn't want to. My internet is a little slow today. It didn't want to connect. How are you? How's everybody doing? Hey. I'm fine, teacher. Fine. Wow, that's amazing. How is your Tuesday going? Todo bien? Everybody's doing fine. Yes, teacher. Nice, teacher. Some of you like super, super early. So, gracias. Thanks a lot for, for that. Um, one second. Um, voy a activar mi camarita en un segundo. Just give me one second because uh, my internet no quiere cooperar ahora. Uh, so, ¿Me escuchan bien? Can you hear me fine? Am I breaking? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, welcome to the So, thanks a lot for, for joining today, Tuesday. Vamos a comenzar nuestra sesión número 11 today. And uh, we are going to be... Vamos a cambiar como un poquito de tema también. Vamos a empezar a hablar un poco de... Eh, different topics and of course siempre vamos a, a revisar esta parte de simple past tense and everything bear with me a second okay, okay perfect now we're seeing now, it's now it's ready. hello hello good evening Okay, so I guess it's working now. Um, so, vamos, eh, vamos a hacer como, you know, we do it like every single day. Eh, let me go over attendance. Les voy a pasar asistencia por acá. Si me ayudan con su camarita unos segunditos, please. And uh, solo para confirmar that everybody is right here. That would be amazing. So, thanks a lot for that. El día de ayer tuvimos una asistencia super, super buena, like full house. Así que espero también que ahora todos nos acompañen, you know, like everybody's here. And uh, let me just get started with Ana Delmi. Alma, uh, oh my God, Ana. <laughs> ya le cambié el nombre. So, Ana, are you here? Present teacher. Thank you so much. Eh, guys, eh, no, no los logro ver, así que please me ayuden con su, con siempre la confirmación verbal, please. So... I got Anna, eh, Brenda, por ahí también escucha Brenda, son seconds ago. Amazing. Brian. Aquí soy, teacher. Yes, Brian, good. <laughs> eh, Jasmine, Celia Jasmine. I feel teacher. Amazing, sí, creo que la vi súper temprano también. Eh, Dani, <laughs> Dani Anthony. Good evening, teacher. There you go, perfect. Hi, Dani, how are you? Very good, teacher, and you? Don't worry, I'm doing just fine. Everything's good, you know. Like, it's Tuesday, so todavía no se siente el cansancio, I guess. <laughs> Danny. Oh, no. Yes. Danny, Danny. Okay, Danny's not here. Daisy, Lorena. Daisy. Daisy. Yes, Daisy, me alegra mucho verla. So happy that you're here. Son todos los ánimos, I'm super ready. Uh, Giovanni, hi Giovanni. How are you? Wow, what type of music do you have? Quien tiene salsa? Who's got salsa? <laughs> okay. No se preocupe, Ingrid. Gracias. Thank you so much. Eh, Natalie, también creo que Natalie la vi tempranito. I saw her early. Aquí she estoy. Around. Yes, nice, nice. Are you home? Yes. Are you home already? Great, great. Sounds good. Ingrid, por ahí ya nos escribió que va todavía en el, en el bus. Gracias, Miss, por conectarse bien temprano también. Jackie. Hey, Jackie. Yes, I see teacher. you now. How are you? I'm I like fine. the color you're wearing. Um, <laughs> se ve like, bien animada and everything. Looks good. Hi, Jocelyn. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Gracias. definitely. Yeah. Norbert. Hello, 
Hello, teacher. No se escucha, teacher. Ok, sorry. Me mutió el comando central. So I thought that you were, I was talking. Ok, Claribel, está por acá, Claribel. Not yet. Uh, hello, Moses. hello, Mi. Oh, yes. Good there you go. Nice. Good hello. Good I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Moses? Good evening, teacher. Where are you? Hey, yes. I'm so happy to see you now. Yeah. So you're, you can be with us every day. That's super nice. Pedrina. Hello, Pedrina. How are you? Hello. Glad to see you. I like your energy. You know, you look very, very like enjoying the moment, so it looks very nice. Um, René, por ahí vi también a René. Hi, René, good evening. Nice to see Hi. you there. Ricardo, you there, Ricardo? Hello, hello, good evening. Hey there, good evening. Good Thanks evening. for joining. Nice. Uh, Abigail, Sandra, are you around, Sandra? Present teacher, good evening. Yes, yes, you're there. Espero que todo esté bien, Miss. Me alegra. Verla como todos los días acá. Happy to see you here. Um, Elizabeth as well. Hi, Elizabeth. Yes. Perfect. Wow, well, Elizabeth, I guess you got like perfect attendance so far. I have seen you like almost every day. Very cool, cool. I'm super happy to see you here as well. Ana Jensi, Ana Thank yeah. you. There you go, Ana Jensi. <laughs> Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Glad to see you. Angel. Yeah, there you go. Hi, Angel. How are you? Sure. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello. Angel, por fin lo veo. Hello. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Normally, your camera uh -huh. is off. <laughs> so now I'm like, oh, he is Angel. Okay. So I'm glad to see you. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, Carlos. Creo que vi a Carlos también. Hello, saw him. Yes, perfect. Thank you, Carlos. Uh, Guadalupe, Guadalupe was super early as well. Teacher. Yes, there you go. Good nice. Teacher. And Ignacio, is Ignacio here? Ignacio, maybe not yet. And Marvin. Marvin, Marvin. Rene, why, why, do, why do you leave your brother behind? <laughs> okay. Is he working? Acabo, no, le acabo de hablar, ya se va a conectar, me dice. Ah, okay, great, great. Lo que pasa es que el jefe de Marvin Bryan is a bad boss, you know? <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's a, a bad <laughs> no, boss. No, but... Bryan? No, no, no. Okay. No, you're not his boss. No, I'm just kidding, you know. <laughs> so I'm just kidding. All right, guys, but I'm super happy to see you here. Eh, vamos a iniciar la sesión número 11. Eh, vamos a comenzar today con un poquito de small talk, you know. As you may remember, eh, small talk era como hablar lo que podamos de un tema. To give opinions, to give expression, todo lo que podamos de un solo tema. So, el, el día de ahora vamos a revisar un poquito de simple past review. Y vamos a cambiar un poquito también hablando de requests, right? Cómo yo hago una solicitud, cómo pido un permiso, eh, cómo solicito algo en any place, ok? Utilizando could and would you mind, que pueden ser como términos un poquito nuevos, pero no son difíciles, así que I'm pretty sure esto no, no va a ser complicado at any eh, possible way. So now, eh, with this part of a small talk, All right, as we did last time, a small talk is voy a dar mi opinión, lo que yo pueda, okay, lo que yo pueda elaborar, whatever opinion I have on this topic. Así que eh, I will ask for everybody's participation here. Tengo dos temas that probably um, you consider them interesting. Así que let's get started. Topic number one says money is the most important thing in life. So this is the statement, esta es la oración. But now I need your opinion, okay? I want you to tell me anything that you think about this topic. Ya sea que estén de acuerdo, that you disagree, um, that you have a different opinion, or any any thoughts, cualquier idea que tengan. So speak up, okay? And, and, and let me know. So para que podamos discutir un poquito. So we can discuss and give opinions. So anybody, money is the most important thing in life. What do you think? 
Is it a yes? Uh, I think it's yes. true. It's true, teacher. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, so you said yes. Okay, but but give me your opinion. Okay, so, why? Because when you have money in your pocket, you can buy whatever thing do you want. Okay. Do you you want? Okay. And it, 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 for example, if you are sick, sick, enfermo, creo que sick. Sick, yeah. Sick. Yeah. When you're sick, you can, you can pay the, the most uh, uh, hospital. Uh, expensive, expensive hospital. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So, okay, interesting. It's very interesting. So you said yes. Okay. What about the rest? What do you think? René said yes, you know. Yeah, it's the most important thing in life. Mm -hmm. What about the rest? What are your yes. thoughts? The money is very important. But the most important, lo más importante, sobre todo, like the most important thing? Yes. Okay, but tell me why. Give me your, your idea, okay? Give me your point of view. Why? Uh, the situation like financing is, is good uh, these better opportunities okay um, for I don't know okay okay no it's it's totally fine it's totally fine so money gives you opportunities okay we can take it thank you Brian anybody else alguien tiene una idea diferente remember this is your opinion, okay? No necesariamente tienen que ser de acuerdo. It's whatever you think about this topic. Money is the most important uh, thing for you. Yeah, sure. yeah, sure, tell me. I think um, it's important, but no is um, most important because oh. um, mm -hmm. um, I think in my life is most important the the uh, salud, yeah. Ah, okay. How do you say? Yeah. Okay. Help. Um, Help. Family. Yes. And, okay. But the money is important, but no, it's only only money. Oh. Okay. okay. Okay, so there are, okay, money is important, but not the most important. Okay, okay, yes. nice reasoning. Got it, got it. Alguien más? Anybody else? Me? Sure, tell me. Me, teacher. <laughs> money is important, it's important because we can buy anything. Okay. So it is important, <laughs> but the most important, and, and you know, I came expecting escuchar, no, teacher, eso no es posible. <laughs> Love <laughs> is the most important, family is the most important, and I'm like, I'm in shock. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm just kidding, okay? It's very interesting, <laughs> anybody else? Alguien más quiere, you know, express yourself, comentarnos qué piensan sobre este tema, what do you think about this? Hello, teacher. You yeah, tell me. Okay, uh, I think that the money is important because okay. with he, I, I uh, obtain uh, eat, food, uh, dress, uh, etc. But oh, it's okay. not most important uh -huh. because in the life uh, uh, there is many things that complement the life, the oh, family, uh -huh. the work, job, etc. Okay. So it's, it's very important for the life, but not, but not the most important. Amazing. Thanks a lot for sharing that. Okay, we got a different opinion on that. I like it. I like these diverse ideas. Let's move on with the following topic para que más, you know, more people can participate. I want to listen to everybody. So the second says cats are dirty, okay? Remember, this is a small talk. Entonces, it's your opinion. Ya sé que estén de acuerdo en desacuerdo. Give me your a piece of your mind, okay? Dígame qué piensan. Tell me your opinion. Is this true? 
Do you think it's real? Uh, I think I have said this openly. I don't like cats. <laughs> and, uh, there is, but, but, there but I'm is open. a sucio teacher. <laughs> Dirty, uh huh. Son sucios. It are dirty. Cats are dirty. What do you think? Yes, no, and why? Uh, Tell me why. I I I have no cat. Okay. So no. you don't have. You have never mm -hmm. had cats. Okay, got it. Pero and uh, but. Uh, but uh huh. No, no, no son sucios. Como, oh, como diría? they are not. No, not indeed. They are not dirty. Okay. They are not dirty. All right. All right. Nice. Thank you. Anybody else? Cats are funny. Oh, Celia. Okay. Jasmine says cats are funny. All right. That's right. Anybody else? Um, the cat not dirty. Uh-huh. Uh, pero I don't. But, uh, but so cat, cats are not dirty, but you don't no, like cats. Uh, I don't like. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So cats are not dirty, but you don't like cats. Thank you. Aquí me dejó la mano levantada. Y Daniel, yes, Natalie. Oh my God. This is going to be like very interesting here. Because this is like a professional point of view. <laughs> Natalie, what can you tell us? Uh, este, they aren't dirty because uh -huh. uh, he clean um, their, their hair all day if they have something in his skin. He take, take off um, ever. Okay. So they daily, daily, they take a uh, shower. So with the tongue, yeah. right? Como con la lengua. So they remove all the dirt with the tongue. Oh, okay. So they are not dirty animals. Okay. Interesting. And thanks for sharing your professional thoughts on this. That's very nice. All right. Already. Let's go on. I think I have one more. So, you know, we can have more people participating. This one says cars, uh, I'm sorry, cars are dangerous. Um, you know that we know all transportation can be dangerous, but this one says cars are dangerous. What do you think? Do people you agree? are dangerous. They are dangerous? People Tell me are why. dangerous. Oh, people are dangerous. Okay, car why? Not, because a car um, don't uh, don't think uh, the car don't think and don't go don't go alone. People take a car, so people are dangerous. Okay, interesting. Thank you very much. So it's not a car, but it's people. What about the rest? Well, look, yes. let me listen to. You. Yeah, tell me, tell me. Yes, it's true because when when people drunk drive their car in okay. in crash crash with other people, but okay. the car the car is uh, are not dangerous because the danger is the people. Okay. Okay, so it's not cars, but it's people. I mean, it's us. <laughs> okay, so we are the ones who are reckless. Okay, alguien más? Anybody else? Cars yes. are dangerous. No, teacher. Uh, okay, tell me no, why. Uh, the car knows dangerous. Uh, the car are not to crash. Mm -hmm. okay. No, no. So cars don't crash. But we do, but we crash. Uh -huh, well, yes. Okay, okay, got it, got it. Very interesting. We have like mm -hmm. different opinions of this. Thank you very much for sharing. Alguien más, anybody else wants to give opinion on this topic? Cars uh, are dangerous? Teacher, teacher. Hello, no, okay, teacher. No. Uh, I, I think the cars are dangerous. Why? Because the smoke, smoke and uh, it's better the bicycle mm, in another okay. in, in another um, vehicle 
Okay, very interesting. This is a different point of view about the environment, right? So what you're saying is that cars are dangerous to the environment, okay, and it's better the bicycles. Yes, definitely, guys. Okay, my Memoteo, sorry. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for sharing your opinions. They are very interesting. So every single day vamos a intentar, you know, give uh, opinions about a topic para poder empezar a organizar ideas. You did it perfectly today. Uh, tomorrow, espero escuchar más, you know, hear different voices, different participation. But that was like super, super cool. Thanks a lot for that. Now, uh, vamos a hacer un pequeño review de simple past tense de algo que teníamos pendiente antes de iniciar con la parte de requests that we have for today. Uh, this is an uh, scramble exercise and it says order the words to create positive, negative and interrogative statement, right? So yesterday terminamos este tema, but not necessarily ya no lo vamos a utilizar. Así que um, what I want you to do is just help me complete the sentences using simple past, okay? So, vamos a ponerlas juntas, vamos a organizar las palabras to make sentences. Can you help me with this? Let's go with number one. Si alguien tiene la primera, if anybody can make number one, so you can open your microphone and you can help us. That would be wonderful. ¿La podemos decir, mi? Yes, of course. Si ya la tiene, yes. Say it out loud, please. Did you train in the enjoy? Okay, so did you? Did you train, did you train in the enjoy? Uy, perdón, perdón. Oh, it's okay. Did You're you fine. enjoy the training? Perfect, thank you. Did, did you, you enjoy the training? training. Okay. Very good. Did you enjoy the training? Number two. Number two tiene didn't. So parece que es negativa. Yeah. What do you think about number two? What is the sentence in the second? This? Yeah. Ricardo? The manager didn't attend the seminar. Thank you. All right. The manager didn't attend the seminar. Perfect. That's okay. Number three. Who has number three? The personnel. Updated. Updated. A certification mountain maintenance maintenance okay. super super close so le vamos a dar vuelta a algo we are just going to move something so the personal updated hasta ya estamos super bien the personal updated maintain certification Exactly. So the personal updated, the maintenance certifications. Yes. So the al revés, right? The maintenance certifications. Very nice. Okay. We got it. Number four. What about number four? Who can help us with four? Me, teacher. Perfect. Tell us. Uh, did the supervisor exercise business cards? Thank you. Very good. This is a question. Did the supervisor exchange? Como intercambio. Exchange business cards. Thank you very much. And number five. Who wants to help us with number five? My didn't the work. Pero ya me equivoqué. Es, esta palabra work makes es junta. Es, esta no, no es un verbo, son work makes. Como co-workers, como los compañeros de trabajo, right? My didn't the, my didn't the work at, at New York. Mm, 
close. My, my close. convention, mm -hmm. my convention didn't uh, work makes out the world. Mm. At the network. Yeah. My workmates. Uh -huh. um, I didn't the the converse convention network. Close, pero necesitamos un verbo. We need a verb. We need a verb. Super super close. Super close. Uh, didn't. After didn't necesito un verbo. ¿Cuál de estas palabras puede ser un verbo? Anybody else? Anybody would like to give it a try? ¿Alguien quiere intentarlo? Podría ser conversación. Todos han estado súper cerca. Everybody has been super, super short. Uh, you're not close. Ana Yancy, do you have anything? <laughs> Yo estaba pensando que quizás el word make. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, dígame lo que no piensa. That's ok. My word make uh, is not a the next word. Ok, super close. So my workmate, my workmates didn't. Hasta ahí estamos bien. My workmates didn't. My workmate didn't. <laughs> my workmate. Ya me había olvidado. Okay, my, no work, my, my work didn't network at conversion. Yes, my ah, work didn't network. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So my work makes didn't network. Como no hicieron conexiones, right? Didn't network at the convention. Yes, thank you guys. <laughs> okay, it was a little, a little hard. Yeah, but you made it. So you did it. Very good job. Now we can move on with the thing is with the activities we have for today. Um, so today's objective is to make polite requests at work. Okay, so this is going to be what we will be doing. Question one: ¿Qué entienden por la palabra polite? What do you understand by polite? Como algún cortés. Cortés. Okay. Más respetuoso. Educado. Respetuoso, educado, perfect. Ok, exacto, eso es polite. Algo respetuoso, educado, cortés. Now, request. What is a request? Even si, si su oh. Facebook está en inglés y le dice send request. What is the meaning of request? Respuesta. Uh, respuesta. Comentario. Comentario. Peticiones. Invitación. Invitación, ok. Puede ser un request, ok. Un request. Opinión, opinión. Una opinión, ok. Ok, yeah, definitely. Un request es una solicitud. Pedido. Oh. Una request es una petición, una solicitud. También puede ser una invitación sobre algo, you know. So today vamos a aprender cómo hacer peticiones de forma formal, you know. Uh, every single day, we uh, need help, okay? O necesitamos que nos den permiso para algo. We need, like, permission. Necesitamos como eh, tiempo. Necesitamos un aumento. We need a lot of things. Entonces, tenemos que pedirle a nuestro jefe, you know, some help, okay? Now, let's take a look at the requests and the, that we have here. Number one says, could you print out the budget file? So, could you print out, right? Si lo puede imprimir. Uh, and Rita, the person says, right away, Rita. Okay. Then we have the second request that says, would you mind opening the window? Te importaría abrir la, la ventana, right? Would you mind opening the window? Sure, no problem. So, tenemos dos formas de hacer solicitudes. We have two different ways to make requests, right? Could you print out the budget? Usamos el cool y el word. Opening the budget list. Entonces, hay dos formas acá, bien cortés, bien polite, de pedir algo. Utilizando could, 
o utilizando Would You Mind. Whoa, Entonces, revisamos un poquito de cómo lo usamos. Let's check a verb. Let's check here. Request. Just request as a verb. Ask something politely. Okay? So, um, request a new phone, please. Cuando quieren decir, por ejemplo... Se mutió, teacher. No se escucha. Teacher se mutió. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> se me olvida. I forget about that. Okay. Mm. No, lo que pasa es que lo, es, tengo dos, dos devices oh, conectados. Yeah. Entonces, I, I forget it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, here we have just yes request as a noun, something else. Yeah. Ok, como por ejemplo la palabra solicitud y solicitar, esas son las dos. Ok, revisemos entonces un poquito la parte de could y la parte de would. Uh, tomemos en cuenta lo siguiente, ambas son polite, ambos son súper cortés, formales, ok. So we can use could, could you, ok, para pedir algo. Y tenemos la siguiente parte, we have the second part, ok, que es would you mind. Would you mind? ¿Cuál es la diferencia entre dos formas de pedir? Después de mind, el siguiente verbo obligatoriamente lleva ing. Y acá no necesito que lleve ing. All right? For example, necesito que alguien cierre la puerta. Ok. Would you mind? Y tengo close, pero le tengo que agregar ing. Entonces, would you mind closing door? Ok. Uh, would you mind? For example, I can ask my sister, hey, would you mind paying the bills? Okay. ¿Podrías hacerlo? ¿Te importaría hacerlo? Okay. So, would you mind? Y con la siguiente parte yo también puedo solicitar algo, pero es mucho más fácil. For example, I can ask, uh, could you close the door? Or the second, could you, could you, pay the bills. So, here están viendo exactamente la misma solicitud de forma diferente, utilizando could y utilizando would. Y esa de could lleva dos, dos veces la you. Oh, so, no, no, no. Sorry. That was my mistake. I double it. Okay. Could you close the door and could you pay the bills? Only one time is okay. Lo único que vamos a recordar es acá agregarle el ing con would you mind. Te importaría. Le importaría, right? So, for example, necesito pedir el día libre a mi jefe. So, no le puedo decir de forma directa, sino que tengo que llegar de forma bien polite. Hey, boss, could you give me the day off? Could I have a day off? Okay. Or, boss, do you mind uh, if I miss one day? I mean, tenemos que encontrar una forma, right? To ask for some requests. Preguntas con esta parte? Do you have any question with this part? Sobre cómo hacer solicitudes? Estamos bien? Are we okay with this? Uh, teacher. Yes, Ignacio. Uh, en esta oración, could you give the day off? No hace falta give me. Lo pensé, pero no lo escribí. Yes. So, could you give me the day off? Or, eh, cambiémosle el give. Y solamente could, puedo tener el día libre. Could I have, could I have the day off? Sería otra forma. This is another way to ask for this. Thanks a lot for that, Ignacio. So, um, estamos bien, guys? Are we okay with this? Hi, Marvin. Glad to see you. Missing. También Danis ya está back. Ingrid ya está back. Okay. I guess everybody's back. All right. Cool, cool, cool. So, Let's practice then. If no questions, that I'm super glad there are no questions. So in that case, practicamos un poquito. Let's practice a little bit. Exercise number three says, think of five requests you need to ask in your workplace and compare your list with others. Okay, first, 
vamos a hacer una listita de cinco cosas que necesitan pedirle, ya sea su jefe, your manager, your supervisor, human resources, or anybody, or in your neighborhood, the head of your neighborhood, so anybody you could. Vamos a escribir cinco peticiones. We are going to write five requests. Pueden utilizar could o pueden utilizar would you mind, la que a ustedes les parezca mejor. Whatever you prefer. Les voy a dar cinco minutitos. I'll give you five minutes for that. Sit, 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 Podría continuar. Podría, podría. Podría ir a... Yeah. 
two more minutes. Maybe you can see it terminaron, please. Let me know when you finish. Teacher, terminé. Amazing. Thank you, Jensi. Okay, everybody, so let's practice this. The idea of these requests, right, is to practice cuáles son como lo que necesitamos, what are some of the things that we need, and to do that, uh, vamos a comparar con los compañeros para poder hacer nuestra lista, ya sea más larga, you know, or get new vocabulary. So I will ask you to go to the groups, vamos a unirnos a los grupos, and we are going to practice this, give me one second, and we are going to share this list. Okay, give me one second. Uh, I don't think I could. Hold on, hold on. Um, okay, give me one second. I'm trying to send you to the group. Uh, Jenny. Dime. Okay, I, now it's ready. Okay, everybody, so I will ask you to join uh, the following groups. Vamos a comparar las preguntas que tienen. Si tienen más requests, that would be amazing. Agregar en la su lista. Y si encuentran nuevo vocabulario, that's super good, you know. Podemos incrementar nuestro vocabulario también. So tienen cinco minutos para comparar y luego regresamos. Then we come back. So practice with your classmate, please. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Five minutes.
Okay, everybody. So thanks a thanks a lot for coming back. Solo déjenme confirmar si todos ya están de regreso. Let me just make sure. Yeah, I guess everybody's back. So I was listening to a couple of requests and they are like super nice, uh, being útiles, very useful, and about activities y permisos que pedimos every day, you know. So I would like to listen to a couple of volunteers. Un grupo ofreció como tributo a Jackie. So thank you very much for that. Uh, so Jackie, uh, I don't know if you can help us. Oh, really? Eso. Que yo eso como sacrificio, teacher. Sacrificaron a la gente. Así se escuchó, o sea, eso, eso quiso dar a entender. La ofrecieron como sacrificio. They said the power of democracy. I don't know, but you know, I just take it. I take it as an opportunity for Jackie to practice. So, I mean, that, that's amazing. So, Jackie, please, what are your requests? Okay. Could you sing the, this deposit? Could you help me with this case, please? Would you please review this document for me? I could call for help with my password. I could check there some important information. Mm -hmm. Okay, amazing. Thank you very much, Jackie. Actually, they are very good ones. Yes, Teacher. anybody else? Teacher. Thank you, Pedrina. Yes, tell me. Could you study English? Could you high Spanish? Could you check a report? Could you check a correspondence? Esas, esas tengo, Teacher. Okay, okay, they are all right. Okay. Teacher. Yes, Ingrid, go, go. Um, by Hello, una, Ingrid. La primera es... ¿Quién habló? ¿Quién habló? ¿De mi conciencia habló? Okay. No. <risa> no, Ignacio is cheering you up, ¿ok? Él está, él está haciendo, you know, like, like cheering. Uh -huh. yeah, no hay yeah, la conciencia yeah, todavía. Yeah, he was cheering you up. Ajá, uh -huh. ok. Vaya, vaya, teacher. Ok, voy a... Eh... La primera es, um, call, can you hear me a day off on Monday? Okay. Boss, call in the tomorrow at 10. At 10. Mm -hmm. uh, call, uh, hear me a rights, please. Okay. Uh, duro eso, gente, pero bueno. Uh, boss, uh, boss, uh, what make you on the report for me tomorrow? What was that again? Can you repeat? <laughs> Eso sí, no, o sea, yo siento que si yo le, yo le digo eso a mi jefe, me, me manda a descansar unos cinco días. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, boss, I'm sorry. I couldn't, uh -huh, boss, I couldn't hear that. Boss will make uh, the reports for me tomorrow. Oh, no. <laughs> That's no. not a request we make. Right now. Okay. Por eso no. le, pero le digo, Ooh. me van a descansar cinco días. Yeah, I, I think that's not a request we made, but okay. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, Funny word. But mm -hmm. la otra es boss, call and rest tomorrow. Could I, okay, could I rest? Could I have the day off, right? Okay. Ah, perdón, esa me, la, esa okay. me la había dicho Brian. Perdón, se la quité a Brian. Sorry. Uh, no, 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 it's okay. Me it's emocioné, like, eso se trata. Me emocioné, Brian. Okay, no, it's <laughs> totally good. De eso se trata, que le sure, roben como la, el vocabulario, you know, <laughs> that we can make and we can increase it. Okay, perfect. Thank you, guys. They are very good requests. Now let's, I have some exercises for you. So help me out with this part. Vamos a practicar un poquito la parte de could and negative couldn't. Ignacio puso en el chat, would you bring the seat to my mother? Okay, okay, that makes sense. So, tenemos un poquito de could and couldn't, and uh, we have, uh, like, the scenario. También tenemos como el escenario acá, right? So, number one, for example, it says, it's very cold in here. ¿Cuál podría ser el request? ¿Qué es lo que estamos pidiendo in number one? Close window. 
So, ¿cómo le pido a alguien que la cierre? How can I ask that? Clothing. Cool. No, cool. Cool. You. You. Cool. You. Cool. Cool. You. Cool. You. Cool. Cool. You. Cool. 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 Could you close your window, please? Como cuando vamos en el bus, right? Like when we are in the bus, y le pedimos al de, a la par que la cierre. So could you close your window, please? It's very cold in here. Yeah? Teacher, veo yes, que ahí ha hecho como la pregunta, la pregunta y a la vez la justificación. Yo había hecho una así. Que era del, oh, what do you que have? Del, que era el del servidor que decía, would you mean shooting down the service? Because I need to send one email very important for company. Ay, that's a very no. good one. I like it. Ok, porque le está dando de una sola vez. ¿Por qué necesita eso? Very nice. Ay, I like your example. Ahí, Thank you. Yes, exactly. So es como le pido. Could you please close your window? Está demasiado helado acá. I mean, it's very cold in here. Exactly. Exactamente como su ejemplo, Marvin. Nice. Good, good, good. What about you? It says, I'm carrying all these books. Carry. What is the meaning of carry? Carrying. Llevar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Exactly. I'm carrying. Yeah. So. Llevar. ¿Cuál es la petición? What is the request? What do you mean? I want. I want. Uh, escuché de hecho dos. Would Así you? Que tenga... Okay. Would Would you, you open the door? Will, would you will open, you open you? the door? Would you? For, Escuché otro con mine. Things? Creo que alguien tenía uno con mine. Go, yes. Uh, okay, can, can you say what, it, please? What you mean, open the door for, the, for me, for me, please? I am carrying my textbooks. It is possible, of course it is. So, vamos a tener solamente que hacer un pequeño cambio acá. Right? I could perfectly say something like, could you? Could you open the door for me? Yes, I, right? La otra, of course, is more formal. So, podría ser como, would you mind? Pero vamos a tener que hacer un cambio más. Do you remember? Le agregamos. Yeah, I -N -G. yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, would you mind opening the door for me? It's super good, bien formal, pero vamos a hacer un pequeño cambio siempre. So, si la tienen así, perfect. Okay, would you mind opening the door for me? Ooh, or yeah. I can just leave it like this. Could you open, could you open the door for me? And that's perfect. That's super, super good. What about, okay, what about the next one? What about number three? Oh, Anna is sitting at home. No, no, no. Who has number three? Oh, Anna is sitting at home. Oh, um, do. Could you leave a message um, for so her? Okay, exactly. Please. Le podrías, le podrías o le podría. So, could you leave a message for her? Le puede dejar un mensaje. All right. Could you leave a message for her? And uh, we have number four. Waiter. Sorry, teacher. Yeah, tell me. En la, en la oración 3, uh -huh. eh, no, no basta solo decir, put your leave a message. El could o el would podría. What do antes, you mean? I'm sorry. Antes de, antes de put. Antes de esto de acá, antes de leave. No, de, de usted dijo, eh, put. Put leave a message for, for here, please. Would, Good. would, would, would okay. put. Okay, 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 gotcha. Or, what or happens, could. what, yeah, what happens is the following. Si utilizamos could you, es como que le preguntemos, right? Eh, podría o podrías, eh, could you leave a message for her? Le podría dejar un mensaje, right? En cambio, cuando utilizamos would, el significado ya cambia un poquito. Porque would es como un ofrecimiento. No le pregunto si podría dejarle un mensaje, sino que le solicito que lo haga. Would you leave a message for her? Cuando le pregunto would you, es como le dejaría su mensaje. Okay. ¿Lo harías? Entonces cambia un poquito el significado que le damos. No sé si uh, we are okay with this part. 
Sí se podría, of course, pero es como, le dejaría su mensaje como pidiendo que lo haga. En cambio, could solamente es como, le podrías dejar un mensaje, you know? Un poco más abierto, right? Okay. Would es una I, petición, sí. Would es una solicitud, exactly. That's a request. Mm -hmm. Y could es bien general. Could you leave a message for her? ¿Le podrías dejar un mensaje? ¿Le podría dejar un mensaje? Podría mm -hmm. ser. Puede que sí, puede que no. En cambio, el would, yo le pido que lo haga. So it's a little different. Mm -hmm. What okay, about en español, en español, podría dejar un mensaje. Se, se puede usar tanto como pregunta como, como una... Tanto como pregunta... Como, como una, una afirmación. Solicitud, como una solicitud, mm. no, como una solicitud. Mm. Y en cambio, en inglés, poniéndole el cool o el goal es donde, donde cambia la cambia. dirección. Yes, ¿verdad? that changes a little bit. Cambia un poquito, porque ya no solamente es, es sobre puede o no puede, sino que yo le solicito que lo haga. So it can be a little mm. different. Mm -hmm. Ya lo vamos a practicar, así que no worries. Uh, let's take a look at four. Waiter, when you go to a restaurant and you are like, hey, waiter, right? It says, see the, the wine list now. And thank you. ¿Qué podemos usar? What, what do you think we can use? Could or would? Or oh, you. O could I. Or could they. Yeah. ¿Cómo could podríamos you. poner number four? Could you? Well. Acepto sugerencias, acepto opinions. Tell me what you think. Okay, so veamos la primera. What do you think? Waiter? Could you? Okay, probemos con could you. Okay, it's totally fine. Totally good. Okay, la primera dice, waiter, could you see the wine list? Pero ahora, ¿qué, qué entendemos por esta pregunta? Waiter, ¿podría usted Oye, como hacer espera, una lista? Espera. Espera, podría, podrías. Sería, uh, would you mind? Would you mind? Ok, le importaría. But, but again, revisamos esta parte de acá. ¿Qué entendemos por esto? Could you, could you see? Could you see es como usted podría ver la lista, pero la quiero ver yo. I, I am the one who wants to see the list. So, ¿Cómo I... la puedo cambiar? I call who, who, who I? I call could I perfect perfect entonces ya no es como puede usted sino que puedo yo ver la lista so waiter could I see the wine list please all right puedo yo ver la lista de vinos ya yeah. so le cambiamos un poquito all right podría yo so this is like very important porque estoy pidiendo algo para mí no que usted lo haga sino para mí right So could I see the wine list? What about number five? Mary, I don't get my money till next week. Oops, I don't have money. Y necesito dinero. So what is the request? Could you lend? Could you lend me twenty dollars till then? Okay. So could me podrías pre, uh, uh, dar dinero, right? Could you lend me? So could. Ahora sí, porque necesito de usted, que usted me dé el dinero. Could you lend? Could you lend me $20? ¿Me puedes dar $20? Right? And that is perfect. Do you have an equation here? Equation, doubt. Hay un ejemplo parecido a este, ¿verdad? Ahí en la plataforma, ¿verdad? El número 5. Yes, 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 yes. De hecho, tienen ejercicios bastante similares and you are going to do exactly something similar. Mm -hmm. Yes. But it, it, más o menos, we get this part of could, could I, could you? Yes. Okay, amazing. Could, could we? Could we, uh, exactly. Podríamos nosotros, como cuando se pregunta, podemos entrar. Could we enter? Could we look, okay, could we um, access the place? All right, nos podemos sentar. Could we sit down? Porque usted está solicitando. Yeah, o es como ellos. 
pueden ellos entrar, could they enter, could they come, pueden venir. So depending de, que, de quién estamos hablando, este you va a cambiar, right? Or could eh, she, teacher. could he, yes, Ignacio. Eh, el mismo ejemplo, número tres. Eh, mm -hmm. Si utilizamos could you or would you, mm -hmm. cambia la pregunta, ya no es una pregunta, sino que es una Digamos, es una petición que... Cambia la función. You know? Sigue de, siendo... La función, sí. Entonces, Cambia mi pregunta, función. perdón. Uh -huh. Mi pregunta es, ¿siempre va a llevar la interrogante? Ya, yeah. no, no cambia la estructura, no cambia la parte gramatical. Lo que cambia es la función, que es lo que ahora usted quiere solicitar. Uh -huh. um, so... Ahora, tomando en cuenta su pregunta, eh, practiquemos un poquito a little, just a little bit, esta parte de would, all right? Normally would funciona siempre como el could, pero el would es un ofrecimiento, you know? Eh, lo utilizamos para ofrecer cosas. Here tenemos este que es would you mind, que unido es como le importaría, you know? Eh, por ejemplo, yo necesito ayuda, que me ayuden a calificar exámenes. Ok, y vengo y le pregunto a Guadalupe, Guadalupe, would you mind helping me with exams? Ok, with the exams. Pero no es que le estoy consultando si puede o no puede hacerlo, sino que mi pregunta es, ¿le importaría ayudarme? Bien específica, yo quiero que me diga un sí. You know? <laughs> ok, uh, so this is like, would you mind helping? All right. Le importaría darme una mano, ya. Yeah? So, would you mind giving me a hand, all right? So, this would you mind, or el would, es como no. ya algo más específico. En general, también podemos utilizar el would de una forma bastante general. So, en creo que Ignacio's question estaba dirigida un poquito a esta parte, que es como, por ejemplo, cómo cambia, all right? Imagínense que yo le voy a, les quiero preguntar, I'm, in by, I'm having a party y quiero saber si ustedes van a venir. Uh, so, ¿ustedes vendrían? Si los invito, ¿vendrían? ¿Cómo les pregunto eso en inglés? Would you come to my house? Pero si se fijan, hay una, hay una invitación implícita, right? So, would you, mind, would you come to my house? ¿Vendrían a mi casa? Eso es como lo entendemos en español. En cambio, el could... No es solo si lo harían, sino es como pudieran, si ustedes están sus posibilidades hacerlo. Could you come to my house? Podría venir, you know? So, cambia un poquitito. It changes a little bit. Depende. Mm -hmm. It really depends. So, yes. guys, let's practice a little bit. And revisamos un poquito la parte de um, grammar explanation. Esto está en su material. This is in your material. So you can take a look at the examples. And if you see here, tenemos, por ejemplo, could you call me later? Y no respondo como, yes, I could. Porque yo le estoy pidiendo algo. So normally I answer, sure, right away, no problem. Or I'm sorry, you know, eh, not today. Would you mind calling? Would you mind getting? Would you mind sending? Siempre le agregamos ing after mine, okay? And here we have other ways, like, oh, in a minute, other answers, other possibilities, not a problem, okay? So, ahorita lo vamos a practicar. We are going to practice this right now. Eso es cuestión de práctica, así que no se preocupen. It's not like a big, big topic, but we are going to use this. Vamos a hacer un poquito de role playing, okay? So... Podemos hacer the following role play. Vamos a hacerlo en pareja. One of you guys, it can be the boss, okay? And the other person can be the employee. So, normalmente nosotros pedimos cosas a nuestro jefe, right? Normally, we ask things for our boss. Entonces, vamos a pedirle, vamos a hacer solicitudes a su jefe. Like, boss, can I talk to you? Could I talk to you for a second? I need to talk about my promotion. Last year, I talked to you 
and you told me that there was no money, you know. Y podemos mezclar todo lo que hemos practicado, pasado, presente, y cómo pedir solicitudes, all right? Demos detalles, give a little details de por qué quieren eso, why you need, o por qué quieren permiso, you know, why you need permission, etc. So, tenemos 10 minutitos, we got 10 minutes to make the conversation. Si les lo hacen rápido, pueden intentar eh, practicarlo de tal manera que ya no lo lean, but you can do it more natural, right? So, allow me one minute. Vamos en grupos de tres. Así que, you get there. Pongamos todo lo que hemos visto together, all right? Practice everything we have checked there. And there we go. In 10 minutitos, you have 10 minutes to do that.
Alrighty, so thanks everybody for coming back. I guess you have a lot of time to practice, to enjoy it, and uh, de recordarse que es lo que le piden a su jefe, you know, and, and of course, something very interesting is, ¿cuál es la respuesta de su jefe? Does your boss say yes? Váyanse todo el día, you know, no problem, whatever you want. Or is your boss very difficult, very strict? And it's like, uh uh, no way. Okay. So let's take a look at the, the conversations you have practiced. Different, different. Yeah. And it depends on the, on the situation. It depends. Okay. Oh, that's another thing. Depende de todo lo que tenga o de cuál es la posición en la empresa, right? How important or um, your attendance is at the moment. So, I would like to know if I have some volunteers. Ingrid, yes? Would you like to go first? La pregunta siempre va a ser la misma, teacher, pero ya el por qué, ¿verdad? O sea, de las mismas okay. que le dije anteriormente, pero con el por qué. Claro, ahora sí es una sería... conversación. Imagínense que ya es como bien real que está pidiendo permiso. So, Marvin, usted estaba con Marvin, right? Your Mar mm -hmm. Marvin is your no. partner. Moisés. Moisés. Oh, uh -huh. Moses, es cierto, Brian. Yo, no solo yo le cambié el nombre. <laughs> no, es que no recordaba. Hace un par de segundos vi a Marvin, that's why. Okay. Me uh, que Moses, no se resiente por eso. No, ahí está Moses. Pero no sé si no, 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 pero, yeah. no, pero yo le, le, o sea, le voy a decir la pregunta y la respuesta. O sea, el por qué. No sé uh -huh. si, si está bien así. Si practicaron oh. la conversación, oh, practiquémosla de una sola vez. Uh -huh. Con Marvin, that's okay. Es Moisés. Moise. Perdón, Moisés. Es que comienzan <risa> con M. Debe estar, oh my God, debe estar con letter M. So, zero, zero. And I continue Ay, with Marvin, nosotros... Marvin. <risa> es que nosotros no decimos como, como conversación, sino que decimos así, haciendo la, la pregunta y respondiéndonos las mismas respuestas que nosotros habíamos hecho, pero no sé si, si Moisés me va a saber contestar si le hago la pregunta. Sí, dígame, dígame. Ah, okay. Let's give it a try. Ah, ok. Call, eh, boss, call, can you hear me a, a day off on Monday? Why? Um, why? What? Ah, why? Ah, um, because um, I need the hospital with my, my children. Yes, it's perfect. Uh, oh. you, you have a permission for us mm -hmm. today. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you, boss. You're welcome. Más o menos, teacher. ¿Está bien? Yeah, that's perfect. That's super fine. Okay. What a nice boss. Así de fácil. No documentation, nothing, you know. Just go. Teacher, <laughs> so usted sabe que, usted sabe like que las preguntas a los... A, usted sabe que las preguntas hacia los, a, los, a los jefes se va al, al tiro, como dice, man. No a right. No, no, but, no, but that was, no I mean, that was fine. Porque no hay mucho papeleo. There is no paperwork. Con... <laughs> okay, perfect. Ah, bueno. Yeah, good. Ah, bueno. Okay, ah, bueno. let, me, let me just go ahead and listen. I, I'm going to try to listen to everybody today. So, Ana Yancy, I'll go with your group. So, Ana, Guadalupe, Norberto, boys, guys, if you're ready. Hello, teacher. Eh, medio, este, tuvimos una conversación ahí con Ana Yancy. Eh, Ana Yancy, yo se lo voy a leer y usted me contesta. Okay. Okay. Uh, good morning, boss, Ana Yancy. Uh, call you buy me a printer uh, because it is very necessary for my work. Uh, yes. Uh, Ay, se me olvidó, teacher. Vente el resto, mis no hay problema. Se me quiera. Te ayudamos, it's okay. Because. Usted es la jefe, usted es la jefe. Eh, because, yes. because yes. Um, I buy, I buy 
e compiuti. Ajá, ah, impresora. Yes. Yes. printer? Yes. A printer. 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 Eh, no sé si me captó la, 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 la conversación. Eh, dice Good morning, boss and agency. Call me, you uh, by a print a printer uh, because it is very necessary for my work. Uh, teacher, ya tendría que que responder. I could I could buy a mm, printer. Okay. I mean, yeah, you are the boss. So, <laughs> le puede decir que si le va a comprar la impresora o que no, you know. Uh -huh, whatever you decide. Uh -huh. But it's okay. Soy buena jefa, entonces todo okay, lo que... So you will buy the printer. Okay, perfect. That sounds good. Thank you. Thank you, guys. That's all right. I'm missing Danny's, Jocelyn and René. Guys? Guys, guys. Ready? Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Study. Hi, Jocelyn. I I, I want I want to talk with Danis. Uh, of course. Well, I will ask if has time off. Okay. okay. Could you give me after off? Uh, sure, Rene. Because my mother is sick and I need to buy a some vitamin. Okay, Rene, let's go. Thanks. I will return the 4 p.m. and I go over time. Okay, no pay or, or OT. Thanks. Okay. That's it. Already. Thank you, guys. Okay, thank you very much. That sounds okay. And I heard like a lot of vocabulary that was very interesting like ot okay so very good job including those words okay let's go random so let me go to group number four angel danny and marvin hey uh, guys uh, no sé si danny pudo participar con ustedes angel and marvin vaya teacher. nosotros estuvimos marvin y yo 
Sí, verdad, es que Dani desde hace ratitos lo veo que no se logra conectar. Ok, no problem, that's ok. That's all right. Va a ser algo corto, teacher, es algo corto. Perfect. No, it's good, it's ok, it's ok. Vaya. Entonces, Ángel, hago yo de, de empleado. Sí, no va a servir. Ok. Hi, good morning, boss. I need to talk to you. Hi, yes, tell me, can you help you? Uh, would you be give me the day off tomorrow? Why does my child have a meeting at the school? Okay, no problem. But I need you to print the permits to set in the to human resort. Okay, very good. Thanks. See you later. You you know you know you can count on me. Oh, that's a very nice boss. <laughs> okay. Okay, I, I like it. Incluyeron la parte de, de el proceso, you know. Okay, so you need to print this to go to human resources. Very cool, okay. I like what you said at the at the last the last expression that was very nice. That is like you can count on me. You can count on me. I like it. That sounds very nice. Okay. So I like your if your boss could say that, like, oh, okay, no te preocupes, conta conmigo, right? So sounds very nice. Thank you guys. Okay. No. Already. Let me go with who haven't I heard today? Carlos and Sandra. Hey guys, that would be nice listening to you. So Carlos, Sandra, are you ready? You couldn't practice? Oh, what a pity. Is Sandra here? Yeah, she's right there. Okay, not a problem. So hopefully later we could do it. Um, let me just choose somebody else then. Tell me, Daisy, Jackie, girls, pudieron practicar? Did you have a chance to practice? Yo casi no, porque me sacó de la clase y ya casi al final me, me pude ingresar a un grupo. Sí, yo que, recuerdo haberla, haberla cambiado, I believe. Eh, Ana, oh, Ana is gone. Ok, so I guess Ana couldn't either. Ok. Eh, ya, yeah, right? Lo, eh, Daisy no pudieron, ¿verdad? I don't see Ana. Casi no, teacher. Oh, there el, you el go. internet lo tengo algo inestable. Ok, no problem. That's totally fine. I totally understand it. But, pero vamos, podemos improvisar, you know, if, if that is not like a, like a big issue. Let me see if somebody has something prepared. Ignacio, eh, Ricardo, and Claribel. So, guys, eh, creo que Claribel no se les pudo conectar, but Ignacio, I don't know if you could practice. Uh, Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Perfect. A little, perfect. A, a little conversation. The idea is to, to know how to ask for permission. So, aunque sea cortita, that's wonderful. That's super good. Um, I am the boss. Hello. 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 Uh, <laughs> Hello, Ricardo. Hello. Start your, boss, I'm your I'm your boss. Yes. Please let me your need. What what do you need? You have you have a problem or you have what do what do you need? Um, um. Repeat. I am the boss. Yes. What do you need? Okay, boss. Ask, uh, ask me. Could you please buy this a new laptop? Sorry. Uh, repeat, please. Boss, could you please buy Day a new laptop. Okay, no problem. 
we have we have money for to buy the computer. Yes. You you are you are a good employees. And, um, yes. Only only you need a complete uh, document. Yes. And uh, were you to explain why the sorry what uh, um, no sé teacher uh, qué le pasó a tu computadora oh what happened what happened to ah. your computer mm -hmm. uh, okay. um con, eh, computer eh, reset my computer reset eh, um, uh, oh, uh, progressive uh, okay eh, both uh, would you mind uh, checking at my report yes today or tomorrow uh, today today okay, okay. all right Okay, guys, thank you. Thank you. Thank no, that's, you. that's totally fine. All right. So he just needed a computer and you said, yes, you can take it. So very good job with that. All right. I think we have just, a, you know, like one, two minutes to finish it up. So I was missing another group here. That was only girls, if, I don't, if I'm not mistaken. So Jasmine, a, I don't know if we could listen to your group. That was Pedrina, a, Natalie, and Jasmine, right? So, si tienen una, aunque sea cortita, that's wonderful. The idea at the end is practicar as much as we can. So, hey, teacher. Si gusta, you. Pedrina, los, lo último, me ayuda. Lo último. La Ajá. respuesta. El yes. Ajá. Vaya, hágame, Ajá. diga todo lo demás Vaya. y lo contesto. Ok. Ok. Could you give me per, per, como permiso, teacher, en inglés? Per, ¿Cómo se permiso. pronuncia? Permiso. 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 Mm -hmm. To go to the doctor. At this time, I have a fever and writing problems. I need the vaccine. Vaccine? How would it be? Vaccine. 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 Yes. Vaccine against COVID-19. No problem. Book only day morning. Thank you. Uh, yes. Ay, very job. nice. Very nice. <laughs> Okay, Qué don't worry. Toma el día, take the whole day. <laughs> You're no fine. Buen <laughs> jefe, buen jefe. <laughs> yeah, right. That's a wonderful boss. I would like to have the same boss. <laughs> no, just kidding. All right, guys. Uh, well, oh my God, the time is about to finish. I'm super happy because casi escucho a todos. I was about to listen to everybody. And thanks a lot for your participation. At the end, remember, la idea no es memorizarnos algo, sino practicar lo que nos salga lo más natural as we can. Y si podemos improvisar, mejor todavía. That's even better. So let me go ahead and check attendance. Me hacían falta algunos en el primer control. Así que let me confirm. I have Danis Alberto. Alberto. <laughs> so Danis, ya está. Yes. Amazing. Alberto. Yeah, I was missing Ignacio too, but Ignacio ya está con nosotros as well. And Marvin, Marvin alias eh, Moises. <laughs> hey, Moises present, alias present. Marvin. <laughs> okay, thank you. Wow, oh my God, guys, tenemos asistencia completa. We have full house. Merecemos que les tome una foto, así que al, uh, help me please get your camera. Just a little while. That's super nice. Yeah. Tenemos full house. Somos 25. Estamos los 25. So I'm like, what? Okay, cool. Segundo día consecutivo full house. I'm super happy. So if you can help me out with your camera, that would be nice. And para que salgan todos, you know. <laughs> okay. So, veo ahí a Sandra peinándose, you know, getting uh, really nice. That's super cool. All right, let me take the picture. So, one, two, and three. Okay. 
ya se la comparto. Thanks everybody, gracias por estar acá. Eh, Jackie, si me regala un par de segunditos, yo creo que el, el internet no le está ayudando mucho. Eh, Jackie me regaló un par de minutitos, los demás nos vemos tomorrow, avanzamos con la plataforma y have a wonderful night. Bye. Ay, hizo, 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 Bye. Hizo, Bye. hizo falta el que Bye. le gusta expulsar a, lo, a todos, teacher. <risa> <laughs> Anthony. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. See you. See you. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. See you. Hola, Miss. Dame un segundito que me ya está seco en... Ok. <ríe> Give me one second. Poner en la sala de espera. Ok. Ahí está. Ahora sí. And, uh, ok. Ahí está. Ahí está. Ahí está. Hello, Miss. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo está? How are you? How are you doing? Bye. <laughs> ok, I'm glad to hear that. Me alegra mucho que ahora sí ya la puedo ver, you know, ya la escuché. De, de repente unos días eh, se me quedaba calladita, pero hoy sí ya está de regreso. So I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Y también por el clima, a veces el clima no ayuda, los vientos, las lluvias, you know. Everything affects, but but I'm glad que estamos acá, you know, al pie del cañón and, and ready to continue with this. ¿Cómo has sentido este módulo, Miss? How do you feel it? Ay, qué difícil, teacher. Me está costando un poquito. Pero no algo eh, Ay, pero... que no se pueda, ¿verdad? Like something super, super hard. ¿Qué es lo que, que le siente más difícil hasta ahorita? El pasado. Eh, este último tema que, sí, el pasado y este último tema que estamos viendo ahorita. La parte de could. Ajá. Sí, con, lo, con los verbos, eh, lo más fácil es memorizarlos. Um, yesterday le comentaba a uno de sus compañeros, eh, memorizarlos, el detalle es que implica tiempo, implica como un esfuerzo extra para decir, me voy a aprender verbos todos los días. Entonces, lo que yo hacía, you know, cuando me los estaba aprendiendo, cuando iniciaba en este proceso, era eh, agarraba pedacitos de papel, papel reciclable, páginas ya viejitas, you know. Y, por ejemplo, si yo tengo este pedacito, entonces acá yo escribí el presente y en la parte de atrás yo escribí el pasado. De tal manera que yo era como, lo hacía como un juego de adivinar, you know. Entonces comenzaba, estaba sentada quizás, eh, viendo WhatsApp o anything <ríe> y comenzaba como que okay, break, broke y, y en, intentaba adivinarlo para hacerlo no como una obligación sino más, sino más bien un reto personal, you know. Entonces vaya buscando la forma mm -hmm. como a usted se le hace más fácil eh, aprender vocabulario. Puede ser, a mí me funcionaba papelitos, you know, pruebe con papelitos o grávese presente pasado o haga un listado, haga líneas, como planas, ¿verdad? Como las de kindergarten. Hay personas que sí les funciona. Entonces, eh, es de encontrar la forma como se nos haga más fácil. Um, eh, si gusta, revisemos este tema, el de ahorita, y you no know, la parte de could, would, porque es como lo tenemos un poquito más fresco. Y usted me indica que, en qué partes que, le, que lo siente más complicado. So... Estamos a la hora de hacer las preguntas. Okay. Con esto, ¿verdad? Could you and would you mind? Oh. Okay. ok. Ok. So, en, en esta parte de acá, como son solicitudes, eh, no, 
como la función de ellos es bastante similar. La única diferencia cuando hablamos de estructura quizás es que vamos a hacer este pequeño cambio. Después de could you o, o could I o cualquier pronombre, pongámosle acá sujeto. Subject, porque no solamente es el you, sino que puede ser cualquier sujeto. Va a ir un verbo y acá después del mine va a ir un ing. Es un poquito diferente. Por ejemplo, eh, yo voy a utilizar la palabra len de prestar porque yo necesito dinero y una con urgencia. Entonces vengo y le pregunto, Jackie, ¿me puede prestar dinero? So, could you lend, sorry, lend me some money? ¿Me puedes prestar un poco de dinero? Could you lend me some money? Y acá yo puedo expresar la misma idea. La única diferencia es que would you mind Des, en, arriba usé len y no lo cambié, pero si yo quiero usar el de abajo, yo necesito hacer el, este cambio. Entonces, si yo tengo len, le voy a agregar el ing. So, would you mind lending me some money? Es lo mismo, pero digamos de forma diferente. Ok, some money. Si usted se fija, no le estoy, no le, le pregunto lo mismo, pero se lo pregunto en una forma diferente. Con el could, no hago cambios con el verbo. Con el would you mind, sí le debo de agregar ing. All right. So, si gusta, eh, ayúdeme como un par de ejemplos para que usted lo pueda practicar al hilo. Eh, so, ¿qué le pediría a su jefe? What do you normally, eh, ¿de qué pide permiso? Eh, <risa> ¿Sí? Could you? Give, no, give. Give, de dar. Uh, uh, huh? Give. Um. Sorry, Miss, la, la escuché un poquito lejos. Uh, would you give? Tell me tomorrow. Could you give me? Oh, um, then. Could you give Ay, a ver, permission? Ah, ok, ok. Could you give me permission tomorrow? Ah, ok. Le escucho un poquito lejos. I don't know why. Ok. So, could you give me permission tomorrow? Ok. That's ok. That's ok. That's a good one. Ok. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más pide permiso? O de qué más pide, you know. Podemos decir, por ejemplo, puedo, puedo hablar con usted. So, hey boss, could I, puedo yo, could I talk to you for some minute, for a minute, you know. Could I talk to you for a minute? ¿Puedo hablar con usted un minuto? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Qué más? ¿Qué más le pide su jefe? Piensa en todas las solicitudes que le ha hecho en el año. Eh. <risa> ah, pues a mí casi no nos dan permiso. Es bien raro que nos den permiso. Oh, but no necessarily. La solicitud puede ser, por ejemplo, no sé, eh, vos puedo venir más tarde o mire, me puedo cambiar de posición, eh, puedo entregarle esto después. A I mí, mean, no necesariamente son permisos, sino son como solicitudes de cualquier tipo que usted le hace. O mire, mañana es viernes, puedo usar ropa diferente eh, a mi uniforme, si uso uniforme, por ejemplo. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Es que los verbos me están costando un poquito. <risa> ok, dígame la idea en español. El me da idea en español y acá la hacemos. That's ok. Um... Porque sería could you think es firmar, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. Could you sign? Ajá. Uh -huh. Could you sign? Uh, sign. Uh, this informant. Yeah, exactly. Could you sign this report? Uh -huh. So, puede firmar como este reporte. Could you sign this report? Ok. O algún cheque. Could you sign this check? Ok. 
-hmm. So pretty much. Uh, could you check? Yeah. Could you check is the 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 mail? Could you check the? The correo. Oh, the email. Okay. Could you check the, the email? Mm -hmm. Correo. Uh huh. Could you check the email? Exactly, exactly. Y cuando se pregunte, could you check, usted le está pidiendo, le está solicitando. Eh, es como un request, ¿verdad? Es una solicitud que lo haga. ¿Podría usted hacerlo? Uh -huh. Exactly. La segunda, uh -huh. esto de acá de abajo es lo mismo, pero tenemos que hacerle un cambio al, al verbo. Pero... Por ejemplo, dígame. Eh, sería, would you me? Mine es o mine. Mine. Would you mind checking? Checking the mail. Perfect. Solo se le cambia. Se le agrega. Sí. Exacto. Eso es todo. Hey, boss. Would you mind signing the report for me? ¿Le importaría firmarlo? El segundo es como le importaría, le molestaría, ¿verdad? Pero en realidad sí, ambos son iguales. So, this is pretty good, you know, this is super, super good. Um, si gusta, puede escribir un par más, you can write a couple more y me los comparte en WhatsApp y yo con gusto se los reviso. I can check that for you. No era okay. problem. All right. Okay. So, Miss, gracias por el tiempo. <laughs> Thanks a lot for your time. Gracias por conectarse. Eh, estamos haciéndolo súper bien en la plataforma. Eh, estaba revisando que le ha ido muy bien. You know, me alegra mucho que esté participando más eh, y siempre intente participar, haga preguntas. Eh, si algo no le queda claro, siga preguntando, you know, y pues, pues nada, la quiero ver triunfar, la quiero ver allá por el 20 que ya hablé la like, full English, así que I'm so happy that you're here. Ya casi, teacher, ya mucho. casi. Fíjate que sí, ha sido bien rápido, imagínese, ya vamos en el 3, así que ya va a ver que no, no lo sí. va a sentir. Cuando le agarre el amor a esto, no lo va a sentir. <risa> ok. Gracias por su tiempo, Jackie. Nos vemos mañana. I'll see you tomorrow. Cualquier cosita no. me escribe. All right. I'll see you. Okay, bye, bye. Bye.